Sam? Spencer Loomis. What about the Adam and Eve job? Look, I can't talk to you now, Loomis. Their snake just dropped in. Falling. Simply appalling. The early Italians always muddied their flesh tints. Well, they used egg yolk in their paint, you see. They didn't have turpentine. You're unusually well informed. Do you paint? Well, I fool around a little bit. Yeah? yeah just, you know, a little bit. Oh, I'm a dilettante myself. Try a bit of everything, like Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> oh, fabulous fellows, those Renaissance men. 
Lorenzo the Magnificent, Machiavelli, the Borgias. Oh, dear. Born out of our time, some of us. Mr. Long says they're ready. Excuse me. Yes, nice talking to you. Adam and Eve you could cover with a fig leaf. The Bible doesn't tell us much more, but the book of Adam and Eve, now that tells us what happens after they were chased out of the Garden of Eden. Now, wait a minute. Did you say the book of Adam and Eve? One of the so-called lost books of the Bible, part of the pseudepigrapher. Well, I'll take your word for it. There were some early translations. In 1946, Professor Harold Larson. 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 He's from Denmark. Okay, go ahead. Professor Harold Larson came up with four papyrus scrolls, which he claims he bought from a Bedouin. They were apparently part of the original version because they were written in hieroglyphic Hebrew. Hieroglyphic Hebrew, man. That wasn't used after the 6th century B.C. That would make the Adam and Eve scrolls 700 years older than the Dead Sea Scrolls. Why, Sam? Well, I, um, I get a lot out of the Reader's Digest, you know. The London Museum were prepared to buy the scrolls if they were genuine. Were they? The leading document expert at the time, a man called Grinsback, he declared yeah. them forgers. But, of course, this is before carbon-14 dating testing had been developed. Yeah. Unfortunately, the professor, upon hearing this, he committed suicide in his home in Copenhagen, and the scrolls disappeared until a couple of weeks ago. A preacher. A preacher? Yeah, a preacher here in California claimed he had them. Hey, had them. what happened here? Since then, I have been receiving inquiries from museums, Libraries all over the world. They're prepared to buy the scrolls if a carbon-14 dating test reverses Grinsback's opinion. Now, the bidding in that case will probably start at $2 million. Who get that, the preacher? No, uh, well, if he can prove legal ownership. Mm. But the professor had a daughter who also happens to live in California, yeah. and she lives in a town called Sopping. But this is, this, is, this is where you come in, Sam. A couple of the prospective buyers asked me to call you. They're prepared to jointly pay your fee if you can locate the scrolls and arrange for a carbon testing. Mm. Why me? Why not the uh, regular channels? Why, this is right up your alley. Strictly confidential. Now, what if I don't deliver? What then? Expenses. Well, what do you say? Feel like working? Uh, yeah, I guess I feel like working. Interested enough? Well, now, how about that? Well, somebody's interested because somebody planted a snake in my house and planted a bug in your office. George. Oh, aren't they lovely? So pretty. And the pickled lamb. Absolutely delicious. An old family recipe, huh? Thank you very much, Mr. Bastro. Oh, yeah, you're, uh, Thank you're a you. very good chef, Carrot George. But the next time that you bungle an errand to Mr. Jarrett, you won't be making the sandwiches. You'll be in them. thy father and thy mother who are Adam and Eve. Oh, thank thee, Lord, for allowing me to find the holy book where Moses hid it when the children of Israel fell down and worshipped the golden calf. I thank thee, Lord, for choosing me to erect the new Edenite church, to build the temple more splendid than Solomon's <laughs> tabernacle, where the holy scrolls can be kept safe forever and ever from the devils who would slay us and steal.
sweet brothers and sisters, innocence in the toils of Satan. Is she lost? Uh, Is she doomed? No. 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 Is she cut off from the redemption and the mercy? Who will save her from the fiery pit? Who will snatch Sister Lalua from the imps of hell? Fifty dollars for that splendid deliverance, brothers and sisters. Who will sacrifice something they really need? Fifty dollars, brothers and sisters. Do I hear folks? Do I hear thirty? Not the money for her, not the money for me, but for the church of the New Eden night. Do I hear twenty? I got twenty dollars. I'll give twenty. Ah, that's, that's the way, brother. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Praise your, praise your souls. Ah, that's, 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 praise the Lord. I got five. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. Don't forget to visit Brother Toby on your way. Hallelujah, brother. The Lord loveth the cheerful giver. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Eve's apples only 50 cents. Garden of Eden snakes only a dollar. An apple with a snake, a dollar and a half. Where can I find the snake dance? You mean Miss Lelua? Mm -hmm. She's dressed Over there? Oh, no, no. Bless the reverence. Well, I certainly do appreciate your coming to see me about this. It, it seems a little sacrilegious, Mr. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, Kolbas, Bela Kolbas. Oh. Uh, believe me, Reverend Baby, my film is perfect. No vulgarity. Well, I don't know, putting the Holy Scrolls in a movie. Uh, behind the main titles only. I am fanatic realist. Yeah, well, you know that I disapprove of Hollywood. with Iraqi government to build a big studio in Baghdad wherever Tigris and Euphrates meet actual location Garden of Eden It's time now Miss Lalua Come in The new singers moved up the charts to the number five position on the top 40 What do you want? Well, I didn't recognize you without the snake My name's Jared just stay where you are and turn yourself around. Right. What do you want, Mr. Jarrett? Uh, I, uh, I like your dancing. That's all. I just don't. Uh... You do? Yeah, I like your dancing. Uh, are you one of them talent scouts? Uh, no, <laughs> no, but I'm acquainted with quite a few. Uh, do you mind if we, uh, you and I sort of get together and talk about it? Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Toby. Yeah, would you close the door? Hmm. Uh, go on, Mr. Kolbas. Uh, believe me, Reverend, I make you absolute top offer for motion film rights uh, to Book of Adam and Eve. Cash. Oh, well, uh, land a percentage. Well, uh, but of course. Hmm. But you understand, of course, it's uh, it's not the money. Uh, it's the, uh, well, the principle. What scruples? <laughs> Believe me, Reverend, I have great respect for you. But uh, <clears throat> listen, baby darling, think of your church building fund. Think of a million dollars free publicity for you no oh, no not for me not for me for my church hmm? uh, what else hey, well do you understand of course that i will have to uh, have to give this some thought and i need a you know a couple of weeks to uh, to wrestle with myself you wrestle reverend you wrestle real good you don't look like a sex nut well, no. As a matter of fact, I'm a, a paid-up member of the YMCA. 
Okay, meet me at the corner, but don't let Uncle Vocal see us. Uncle, you mean Reverend Simpson? Y yeah, th that's what he wants me to call him in public. Okay, I'll get my car. No! The reason I come here is to win enough for dancing lessons. Oh, I see. Come on. <clears throat> nope. You know something? What? I'm never going to get to be a real dancer. No, you just got to have faith, you know. This, uh, new church, what's it all about? Sin all you want, I guess. You know, like the real reason Cain slew Abel was because Adam and Eve wanted him to marry Abel's ugly twin sister, Aliki. And Abel to marry Cain's beautiful twin sister, Lulua. Oh, do you know what he did? No, what? Cain kidnapped Lulua and married her himself. Wow. I mean, if Cain can be forgiven all that, anybody can do anything. Well, with a uh, message like that, he must get a lot of converts. Hmm. You ever seen those scrolls? You know what? I don't think there are any. It's just some kind of come to glory gimmick. Hello. Devil brought down our tent. You sneak off to gamble. Lost $30, huh? Well, I'm sorry. You come with me. All right, take it easy, Reverend. You huh? keep out of this. Look, suppose I donate the $30 to you. No, just don't give him a cent. Hey, here, where do you think you're going? To the ladies' room. You just pass a commandment against that? Girl practically raised her manner like my very own. Yeah. Come on, sit down, Reverend. Not in a place like this. Now, wait a minute now. No, don't say that. Because, you know, I've been wanting to talk to you. Huh? Why? Yes, sir. Why? Because I, uh... Uh, drinking, smoking, uh, women, whiskey, you name it, man. I, I've done it. I need help. Yes, I do need help. Yeah, sounds like my church's the place for you, brother. Well, I guess good work can go on here as well as any place. Oh, why not? Adam and Eve were sinners, too. It's written in the Holy Scrolls. Uh, you know, Lalu was telling me about those scrolls. How did you come to get them? The angel Raphael showed them to me. The angel Raphael? You mean in person? Oh, no, no, in a vision. Took me into a cave full of treasures, and there they were. And then I traveled for 40 days and 40 nights, and I found them. Oh, my. Uh, is there any chance I could see them? Oh, well, you can't see them. Why not? Not until the new Edenite temple is built. The uh, sooner it's built, the sooner you can see him. How much do you think you'd be able to swing for the uh, building fund? I'm ready. Oh, all right. You don't have to go with him, you know. Don't I? Nope. Hey, let me counsel you, brother. Saul hath slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. And I'm a soldier of the Lord, too. You mean I'm not welcome into the fold? You know what I mean. Okay. Hallelujah.
was bird watching. <laughs> I didn't know it was fake. Sure. Yeah, well, you mind holding on to him while I get down, huh? You stay right up there. What do you do that for? Going to call the police. You can wait right there. Hold it a minute now. I drove all the way up from Los Angeles just to see you. I want to talk to you about your father. You are Sigrid Larson, Professor Harold Larson's daughter, aren't you? I don't discuss my father. Not even for two million dollars? You get out of here. Art, Art, hold it now. Just Art, forget about the money. But if you talk to me about your father, maybe we can clear some things up about him. Sort of, you know, maybe vindicate him. He doesn't need to be for me. Well, maybe you owe it to his memory to talk to me. And you know something? I don't think Simpson knows where those scrolls are. Nobody does. Is your mother alive? She thought father disgraced us. It killed her soon after we came to live with Uncle Lars. Now, where's he? He's dead, too. Uh, well, maybe, uh... Maybe you have a husband. I don't know. Oh, maybe you have a, Mr. Jones, a boyfriend. There's nothing wrong with that. Leave. I think it's about enough. All right, let me tell you something. You know what I think? I think that your father destroyed those scrolls because he knew they were fake. They weren't fake. I don't care what Grinsbach said. Right, you want me to believe that? Yes, you want course. me to prove it? I... You help me to prove it. How? How? Try to remember everything that happened since your father died. That's how. I was only five years old. Look, somebody must have been looking for those scrolls. Now, you know as well as I know. Somebody must have. All right, all right, all right. Hold it now. Tell me, what kind of a house did you live in, in Denmark? What kind? Well, it was a large right. and it was old. Fine. I right. used to play in the attic. In the attic? Mm-hmm. Okay. What did you or your mother bring back from Denmark? That, that, for instance, it's over a hundred years old. Uh, they say storks brought good luck. I thought they only brought babies. What else did you bring? My parents. Mm. Grandmother's wedding dress. Dress. Now put that one on. I want you to do a lot of remembering. Trust. Thank you. Ah, here you go. That may not help you uh, remember, but at least it'll. Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wait a Do you know that man? Where? Uh, the one in the red, the best. Not sure. I... No, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Well, I have. Let's see if he remembers. Where's the help? What's up? <clears throat> <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I... Oh, no, it's all right. Well, we've met. We have? Yeah. At the Huntington Library. We talked about flesh tents. Remember? Well, uh, we won't squabble about that today, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is Miss Larson. Oh, Miss Larson? My name's Jared. Mr. Jarrett? Uh, Bassett Cosgrove. I do. Well, it's very nice running into you. <laughs> I'm afraid that I ran into you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sam Jarrett. I know who you are now. I saw you fight for the middleweight championship. You were a superb boxer. I had my moments. Well, I'll uh, see you around, Cosmo. Yes, yes. Uh, some other folk festival. You never know. Now, come on. Give me some more of this sugar, because this is too good. What else do you remember? You've been asking me that all day. I want to hear about you. Mr. Cosgrove said that you were a... Uh... I was a prize fighter. Let me 
see your hands. So more the hands of an artist. Well, it's the story of my life. Tell me about it. Well, I... I'm a ghetto kid, you know. Our lifestyle was, uh, I guess you'd say, ugly street. You know, maybe that's why all I was interested in in school was art. Art and fighting. You don't want to hear about all this, do you? Come Please. on now. Please. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, all right, I wanted to be an artist. Boy, how I wanted to be an artist. But there was only one problem. Um, no talent. So I, uh, I had to fight. And when I quit, I was broke. I had no money, so I... There was a friend of mine, though. He was one of these, uh, uh, what you'd call a private eye. And he gave me a job as a uh, leg man. And uh, we worked on an art fraud case, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. And now, these are the only kind of cases that I, I handle. That's it. Why do you know so much about forged or genuine manuscripts? to a lot of night schools. Sam, the door. Me, you bark at. The stork, it's gone. happened it's upside down what happened with the police well the uh, phone's been cut there's a phone booth a half a mile down the road now where's your car the hired man took it to the festival well don't you have anything on wheels Operator, get me the police. That will be an additional 10 cents, please. Are you kidding?
You want to go for a ride, Mr. Janet? She looked like, to tell you the truth, but, well, she passed away and left us about nine, ten thousand dollars in her will. Hey, you want some of this cough medicine a little while? No! Yeah, yeah, you, you never know when you're going to win one, when you're going to lose one. Ha, <laughs> ah. ha, ah. We did good. Well, that, that, that's fine, Toby. Hey, lock her up, lock her up. <laughs> hey. that lord no no i got to have faith i got to believe that's a that's a miracle that's a miracle that's what that is oh yes praise his name hallelujah get, get down on your knees yes we thank you we thank you lord say it say it well, we thank you we, lord we thank you we thank you we, we thank, thank you. you we thank you we, thank you lord we, we thank you. Yeah. oh oh How'd you make out, Gordy? I'll let you down. Huh? I'll let the boys down. Whole beach. Oh, second place, huh? Yeah, well, so you didn't win the contest. Maybe you'll be Mr. Infinity next year. Uh, deltoids were a standoff. Pretty creamy with his pectorals. Oh, that's a shame. I'm oh, so discouraged. I might even go back to hairstyling. Uh... Come on, let me buy you a beer. Come on, will you? Oh, Mr. Jerk. I can't. Why not? Well, you have company, and she might not like me barging in with you. What did she look like? I didn't notice. Oh, yeah. Sam? I want to stay with you. Oh, that would be very nice, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, 
What about you now? Uh, what's his name? Well, he don't know me. <laughs> How'd you find me? <laughs> In the telephone book. Sorry I asked. Oh, I just love it here. Yeah. Well, I tell you, you know, that's very nice, except that um, we got to find a place for you to stay tonight. You know, I mean... Uh, you mean you don't want me? I, now, come on now. Nobody wouldn't want you. Uh, Sam... Just, just that... Uh, now, wait a minute. I'm busy. I'm just... Well, I never thought you'd act like this. I, I mean, you you were so nice to me. Oh, Lord. And I got you something. You did? Well, you said you wanted to see him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Just for you, Sam. I got him. I'd do anything for you, Sam. Honest, I would. Where'd you get these? Out of the safe. I, I was there when he found them. He carried on like the faint. When? Two days ago. Oh, he'll kill me if he thinks I swiped him. Well, that's probably what he will think. Well, don't worry. We'll have you protected. Well, wait a minute. What do you mean, we? I, I did it all for you, Sam. Please, let me stay. First thing I gotta do is order an armored car. Sam, can't that wait until morning? The second thing I've gotta do is order an armored car. putting a piece of one of your scrolls in this burning tube. As you probably know, the linen wrappings of the Dead Sea Scrolls tested out at 1,960 years old. And it was assumed that the scrolls themselves were approximately the same age. However, in view of the controversy over the Adam and Eve scrolls, we'll test the papyrus itself. I haven't been this keyed up since the Casanova Diaries. We do this by estimating the degree of carbon-14 radioactivity. It's a property of all organic matter. And the first step is to chemically change the sample. Why? It's to form carbon dioxide. He got that from the Reader's Digest. He told me so himself. Carbon dioxide will now be fed into this central counter here. The less radioactivity that we find, the older the sample. The date will appear on this carbon counter screen here. said unto me, seek thy vengeance upon them, for thou hast revealed thy cause to me. And my hand shall destroy them, so saith the Lord. Now the Lord works in wondrous ways. You forgot to release the safety catch. Get them out of here. Yeah, but the Holy Scrolls, they're mine. They belong to the church of the New Edenites. The Lord shall wreck his vengeance upon me! Mr. Garrett, normally it takes considerably longer, but I'm afraid I knew from the beginning with the high radioactivity that the score was modern. The carbon counter puts it at 1883. That's less than 100 years old. I'm sorry. Grinsback was right. The scrolls are forgeries. I don't believe it. I don't care how many tests you make. Oh, Secret, any suggestions, Sam? 
Cancel the armored car. Spotted it outside her swap shop. It wasn't my fault, officer. Somebody took it apart and left it in a ditch. Well, how'd you get it? I didn't know it was stolen, Buster. Some kid swapped it for a pup tent. Hey, fella, you mind taking it apart again? You're kidding. Nope. Whatever he says. All right, for starters, I suppose we take off these brass knobs off the post right here. My father hid the scrolls in the bed, didn't he? Well, whoever took the scrolls left behind this piece of uh, linen wrapping. And this was stuck to it. Now, may I keep this? Why not? You've had a rough day, haven't you? Hmm? You know that, uh, that character, uh, Cosgrove, you know, we met at the festival? You know, the one that was dressed in the red outfit? You're sure you've never seen him before? No, I... I, I mean, I... I had an odd dream about him. I was a little girl again. He was in the attic. Of our Copenhagen house. He was. He was standing on. one leg. Like a stork. Was it a dream? Or was it a memory? 700 BC. No doubt about it. That new papyrus sample tests out at 6th century BC. 2600 years. Give or take 50. Thank you, Doctor. You're all welcome. Is she still in there? Yep. I've been out here, and Clyde and Arthur are taking turns watching the back. Thanks. She had us in a couple of times for diet drinks. Oh. <laughs> Balua? Oh, maybe she's asleep. Well, she's not in here. You know, come to think of it, she went to the bathroom over an hour ago. We heard the water running. to study dancing. I am on a weekly payroll of Bassett Cosgrove by... Will you wait for that second check, sweetheart? Jack Grinsbach. He was a documents expert on the uh, Adam and Eve affair. Oh, <laughs> that Grinsbach, huh? Yeah. He uh, authenticated the uh, Charnold Sullivan Carry Nation love letters. Right. The, the buyer thought they were stolen from the Library of Congress. <laughs> uh, they were fakes. Oh. So, uh, Grinsbach could have been bought, right? Uh, they marked to us nisi bonum. You lost me there, Professor. That's a good cigar you got there, you know mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Say nothing but good about the dead. I'm convinced that the Larson scrolls are genuine. Who would want to uh, get Grins back to say they were forgeries? But they might be easier to steal. Does uh, Bassett Cosgrove mean anything to you? Ah, dear old Cosmo Bastrop. <laughs> he uses many assumed names. Cosmo? What did you say, Cosmo Bastrop? Yes. Where could I find him? Oh, he has his hideaways all over the world. Well, how about the West Coast here? 
A, um, a box of Havanas? <laughs> the best. Time's up. Hey, thank you, Professor. See you next month. Always a pleasure, Sam. Gray box. I'll take care of the car. Welcome to Bastrop Island, Mr. Jarrett. Please come in. This way, please. again. And dear pretty Miss Larson, what a delightful surprise. You know something? This whole island is quite a surprise. Oh, really? You find it so? Yes, I do. I inherited rather substantial oil interests, and I use a few of them to ensure my privacy. Um, I also indulge myself in arranging the decor. Uh, I hope you like the chandelier. Late 18th century, Venetian. No, I say that's about uh, 1747. And the table, early San Simeon. Thank you, Ignok, thank you. I'll call for you if you need anything. He's an Eskimo. They make excellent butlers, especially in wintertime. I want my father's Adam and Eve scrolls, Mr. Bastrop. My dear young lady, what makes you think that I have them? You bribed Grinsbach into saying that those scrolls were forgeries. Well, they weren't. I know. I saw you looking for them in Copenhagen. You see, you obviously remembered that brass bed when you saw it in Solvang, and you... Well, you found the scrolls in it. <laughs> really, Charlotte? Yes, really. So you had fake duplicates made, you planted them in Simpson's safe, and then you had Lua bring them to me. Uh, but good heavens, why? Why? Because you knew I'd have them tested, that's why. You wanted them established again as forgeries, so the search for the genuine scrolls would be called off. <laughs> but my dear Mr. Jarrett, who on earth would behave in such an absurdly eccentric manner? Not, not who, you. You know, like all clandestine collectors, you get your, your kicks out of buying stolen art. Or you steal it yourself, even though you'll never show it. Cultural kleptomania. Well, thank you, Dr. Jarrett, for the penetrating analysis. Yes. Yes, I am a collector, a clandestine collector. But I specialize in only one of the arts, the greatest art of all. Comics. Come in, come in. <laughs> The most extensive collection ever assembled. I couldn't begin to estimate its value. I call this my funatorium, my own private shrine of heroic heroes and villainous villains. 
You know, I'm a fan of these things myself. You are, Mr. Jonas? Yeah, oh, I really I am. I certain you would be. You did. And I'm sure you agree with me that the art of the comic is the mad genius of the muses. Ever since a Cro-Magnon man scrawled a six-legged buffalo on the wall of his cave. What? And now, tell me, dear Miss Larson, what is your favorite comic? Oh, well, I always did like Little Orphan Annie. Uh, yes, naturally. And you, Mr. Jarrett, what is yours? Captain Marvel, Mandrake, Shockman, Superman, Batman. Uh, personally, I'm addicted to the Flintstones, but I've got everything. From uh, Maggie and Jiggs, Uncle Scrooge, Wonder Woman, Happy Hooligan, Plastic Man, Green Hornet, Crazy Cat, right down to the latest undergrounds like Zap and fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. Really? Well, how many items do you have around here? Oh, I don't know, thousands. They're all catalogued. Now, look at these. These are duplicates. I destroy them to enhance the value of the remaining copies. Huh? <laughs> See? By any chance, do you have the, uh... Captain America, number one. I see you have an index here. Mr. Jarrett, you continually surprise me. But of course I do. That's my most valuable comic book. But I'm afraid you said too many unkind things for our acquaintance to continue. I deeply regret this turn of events. In happier circumstances, you and I might have become stimulating companions. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we might have at that. Oh, by the way, what, uh, comic book did you get these characters out of? Monster World? Ethno show Mr. Jarrett and dear pretty Miss Larson out. Mm hmm
chronic insomniac, Mr. Jarrett. And so it seems are you, or are you walking in your sleep? These were with the Flintstones. Mm, that was quite a touch. Thank you. Rash of me to mention it, but in a game like this, I find it more titillating to drop a clue here and there. Add zest. Don't you agree? <laughs> Say, you know something? I wouldn't have found out if you hadn't put on such a corny act about all these uh, comics around. The wounding things that you will say. And I thought that my excessive enthusiasm was a nice piece of play acting. Good evening, gentlemen. Of course, comics are only one of my minor collections. Those scrolls are the quintessence of uniqueness. Oh, gently, gently, Casimir. I simply had to possess them. Possession means a lot to you, doesn't it? Everything. Now, I thought appreciation was what uh, really mattered. Claptrap! Let the vulgar masses listen to a Beethoven sonata or gape at the Mona Lisa. My aesthetic pleasure must be mine, and mine alone, shared with no one. That's pretty exclusive. Listen. Azamadam lakava anaknu nitain akot evel lakain ve eknot kain lakavel. I'm very impressed. You should be. Do you realize I'm the only man in the world who will ever read the lost book of Adam and Eve from the original text? It almost makes me feel like God. Well, maybe that's your problem. Put him in the guest room. Clyde and Arthur with you, Miss Larson. Well, he's not back yet. Mr. Jarrett, your sustenance for tomorrow. Serve him, Eknook. An apple a day, as they say. And what is this, the Adam and Eve diet? Yes, I'm curious to know how long you can survive on it. Bon appétit.
27. I hope you like your hook crisp. Sam, well. Sam, Bastrop's in the library. <laughs> He's got a lot from the inside. That's the document shredder. What's he doing? He wouldn't. Oh, he would. I'm so sorry, dear fellow. Carrot George will look after you. He might get mad. Hello? Sam? It's for you. Oh, are your scrolls. Yeah. Jared? I feel simply dreadful about destroying those scrolls. But I couldn't bear the thought of losing them. And, and now I feel worse because I'll never see them again. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, you can see them again in whatever library Miss Larson donates them to. I am uh, sorry, old man. The ones you shredded were fakes. The real ones are here. As a matter of fact, I'm holding in my hand right now. I switched them on you. <laughs> oh, my boy, I'm so relieved. I'd never have forgiven myself. Well, congratulations. You've certainly unwitted me this time. But I'm sure I'll have another go at you. Uh, Carrot George, lemon, lemon. Let us preserve the niceties. Oh, you can have a return match any time you want, Cosmo. 
I certainly look forward to it, Samuel. Why not? Cheer up, Cara George. At last, we found an opponent worthy of us. Lachai. Oh, Sam, how can I ever repay you? Oh, I'll find a way.